The moment is here, you can stop your search. It's Comics by Birch. Hey everybody, this is Birch. I love that there's a lot of new people still that find the channel. I hope that when you find the channel, you see a video. It does, um, you know, I, I tried, I, I told people have written it, written in, written in, anyway, saying, uh, hey, I, I, I start watching the channel and then, um, then your content changed and it became something else. And I, I, I think I've been pretty consistent, you know, consistently bad, uh, but consistent over the years. So I don't know. I'm, I'm always curious when somebody tells me that they, uh, they think the channel tone shifted a lot. That's, uh, anyway, it says, uh, Hey, Birchington, big fan of the channel. I started reading Joshua Williamson's Green Arrow comic, Dawn of DC. I liked it, but I noticed it didn't feel like a solo comic, but a team comic with the Arrow family. That's fair. Uh, I've noticed this trend in other solo comics like Tom Taylor's Nightwing, Jeremy Adams' Flash, which I still do like, by the way, not as much as Taylor's Nightwing. Solar co solo comics seem to be missing supporting characters who aren't superheroes. I'm not saying no other superheroes can be part of the supporting cast. A sidekick and a love interest who's also a superhero makes sense. I just don't want the comic to turn into a team book. Do you feel like solo comics are just team comics now? If so, do you think this is a good idea? Have a good day, kind regards. Thank you very much. Appreciate the question here. Um, you know, I do, I do see this. And, I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it as like a backing into a team book kind of approach. Uh, the Flash did a really good job of kind of selling it as a family book. But, you know, you have the Flash family, all the powers and everything else. Um, I think that I have a lot of problems with that concept. My biggest problem is in many cases, they try and kind of align a lot of the powers together or they, they try and kind of theme them up. And uh, it winds up, to me, diminishing the, the hero or the, the center part of the story because you've got all these characters all run around kind of with the same power set doing many of the same things. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, I, I don't know. It takes something away from the story. It's, it's like the flash is about speed and all the characters that use speed versus the flash is about a character called flash. And, and I'm being a little extreme here. I like the flash family to be, to be clear. I, I like it. But when you have the, the flash family, the bat family, the Superman family, um, you know, the Green Arrow, uh, I've read the book, and it did have that feel to it. I agree. But you're starting to get, I mean, it is everything is a family book or everything. Or, you know, it's, it's this whole group of heroes all in, in one thing. So it, it, and it doesn't, I, you know, I, I'm intrigued by this. Uh, it's, it's, it's a pseudo teen book. I, you're right. I, I think, you know, by the, by the standards of comics, it is. Uh, I've just disliked the overall trend of having kind of these these ensemble books you know and 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 then worse when they all start have to kind of dressing you know alike you get the uh everybody's a bat character now and and you've got all you've got this legion of bat characters you got your city of bruce in effect in the comic uh it get you know to me it just the, the whole concept gets pretty watered down at some point and that's where it feels like we're at for a lot of these books it just feels like the the concept itself is as um just a lot less than than it used to be uh now you know why do i think they're doing this um i i you know i, I could give a lot of theories here but here's a couple off the top of my head uh i feel like you know there's a little bit of an insecurity about the main character about the fact that this main character can just have a book on their own i think that's that's part of it it's like you know we can't possibly sell a book with just green arrows so we're gonna need to you know, have all these other characters running around in the, in the title as well. Uh, I think that there's, uh, you know, a, I think quite bluntly, a lot of these legacy characters, you know, Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, Green Arrow, uh, Wonder Woman, uh, The Flash. Uh, they're, uh, you know, not Wonder Woman, obviously, but they're, they're white guys. They're all white guys. And I think that people look at that and go, it's 2023 and can we really have a comic running around that's, you know, has a white guy in it? And so it's like, we need to diversify the cast. So we need to bring in kind of different, different genders, different races, uh, some cases, different sexualities. You start to kind of, you know, make the, uh, the comic like a sitcom. You know, the joke was in the nineties when they would do a sitcom, they had to have a supporting cast that like checked 
every box. Now, granted, there are fewer boxes in the 90s than there are today where there's like a 20-page you know, checklist of boxes that you have to you have to work out. But there used to be this, like, you know, we've got it, one character, you know, there's six characters, one character has to be gay, one character has to be black, one character has to be some kind of, you know, some kind of Latinish type. Uh, you know, we need at least two women, maybe three. You know, and and, and you got to, and okay, one character is going to be very rigid in personality one because it's not just about gender sexuality it's also about just kind of their their personality as well you get like one character gets to be the joker one character gets to be the serious one and we'll, and so you you have to like you you craft this thing and you know it it, it comes together and you start to you, you know you see you, they all start to feel the same because it feels like they're all checking the same boxes to get to you know the whatever kind of angle they're going for so, uh, comics are feeling in many cases, I, I, I suspect that's a big reason why this is happening is it's like, you know, Hey, it's 2023. We really can't have a solo book featuring just a white guy running around doing stuff. We need to bring in kind of more elements to it. And that's, and I think it comes from a somewhat mistaken belief of, a, you know, one core concept, which is if I don't see myself in the comic, I can't read it. And the see myself has become incredibly rigid of a concept. It, it is it is not just kind of see your, you know, see a character that looks like you. It's like it's got to be a character that's exactly like me. If I have a disability, there has to be a character in the comic with a disability, ideally the same disability I have, and that's representation. And you know, this is a change in thinking. This isn't how people used to be. This is, you know, you, once upon a time you opened up a comic book, you read it, and you, you kind of daydreamed about you being the hero, um, or maybe the villain, I don't know, I'm not judging what you did when you were a kid. But anyway, you didn't think about, ooh, this character's white, so I, I, can't, I can't daydream that I'm that character because I'm not white. You didn't, you didn't take it literally, your imagination just filled in the blanks. You know, maybe if you were disabled, maybe you dreamed of having powers to overcome that disability. You know, if... if <laughs> Well, frankly, if you were gay, uh, it didn't really factor in at all because, you know, Spider-Man wasn't swinging around going, oh boy, I'm straight and I like to pork women. That's what I like to do. I've, that's why I'm going to shoot my spider. No, I'm actually, I'm not going to finish that. Side. But anyway, that, you, so you, you could just, you could just imagine you were the character and it was fine. It was, it was good. Uh, head cannon used to be a lot more creative. You didn't actually need to have it, you know, on the page. But I, I suspect that's quite a lot of it, honestly. And I think it's just this idea of, look, we gotta we gotta have all this, you know, this representation in this comic. And hey, we want to grow the comic. And the only way to do that is to get new readers. And the only way to get new readers is we're gonna have to have a character that looks exactly the same as the people we want to read this, because we want everybody to read this, you know, we're gonna have to have one of everything in this comic. I that I, I think that's where a lot of the thinking comes from. And I think it's, uh, you know, I, you know, they're also maybe a factor of the writer that's coming into the book, you know, doesn't really care for the main character. And so their, their big interest is building up the supporting cast. You know, they like, I'd, I'd, I'd much rather be writing, you know, power girl, but I don't have any interest in power girl. And so, uh, or sorry, let me, let me start. I'd much rather be writing power girl. Power Girl can't hold the interest. There you go. Of customers is a solo title. Uh, now, did DC did just announce that they're doing a Fire and Ice comic. So I, I don't know what to tell you, but anyway. Um, but uh, DC is you know. So therefore, I want to write Power Girl. The, the, so I'm going to put Power Girl to Superman. I'm just going to make the title back into Power Girl because that's what I'd rather be writing in the first place. I don't know. There may be some of that that's going on as well, um, but. Uh, you know, overall, it's an interesting concept. So I'm curious what, you know, you, the viewers think. Are a lot of these solo books just becoming stealth team books? And do you like that? Uh, to me, I, 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 I want diversity in titles. I want a horror book. I want a sci-fi book. I want a superhero book. I want all these different tones. And that means I want team books. And I would like a family book. And I would like a solo book that's truly a solo book. I'd like all those things. It is striking that DC right now I think they, they're all kind of family books right now, aren't they? Like, which, what's the book that isn't? You know, Wonder Woman's doing that. Green Lantern is is doing that. Superman's definitely doing it. Flash is doing it. Batman's doing it. Green Arrow is doing it. 
every day, everybody, it's, it's the, uh, everything's a family book right now. I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. Not for everything. Anyway, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for listening. <laughs>